the NCCAA and Bob Jones University promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial or sexist comments, or other intimidating actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives are grounds for removal from the site of competition and other disciplinary actions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Conesty Park for today's doubleheader featuring the Payne College Lions and your Bob Jones University Bruins. And now we'll meet the starters for the Lions. Number one, playing shortstop, Denny Daza. Number three, batting DH, Caden Wilcox. Number 16, playing right field, Dominique Page. Number seven, playing catcher, Joel Malone. Number 11, playing first base, Christian Batista. Number 15, playing third base, Camilla Martinez. Number eight, playing center field, Ravion Alexander. Number five, playing left field, Pablo Rivera. Number two, playing second base, Vladimir Lemos. And on the mound for the Lions, number 20, Christian Tibabijo. And now it's time to meet the starters for your Bob Jones University Bruins. Batting first, number five, playing center field, Riley Ramsey. Batting second, number 38, playing right field, Evan Walker. Batting third, number 10, playing third base, Conley Burke. Batting fourth, number seven, playing first base, Cam Lance. Batting fifth, number 28, batting DH, Pablo Austin. Batting sixth, number 19, playing catcher, Cody Kirkpatrick. Batting seventh, number three, playing second base, Sam Gonzalez. Batting eighth, number one, playing shortstop, Chad Bain. Batting ninth, number two, playing left field, Zay Brand. And on the mound for the Bruins, number 30, Joshua Legnar. And it is now at this time that's, that we ask that you please stand for a word of prayer followed by our national anthem. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this beautiful weather and the sunshine that we have today. We thank you for this opportunity that these two teams have to play baseball against each other. Be with us all here today as we fellowship, and it's in Jesus' name. Amen. Clearly, it was not for us. Caitlin got that to me yesterday, and now I can't remember what she put in there. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. All right. Well, we are back here at Conesty Park on this sunny afternoon as the Bruins begin the first game of the doubleheader against the Payne College Lions. My name is Trenton Goldsmith, and I'll be with you here all day today. The Bruins look to recover from another 
another heartbreaking loss last night where the Lions came roaring back to force an extra innings, extra inning, excuse me, in which they scored three runs. The Bruins did come back and score one run of their own, but come came up short, losing 12 to 10 in 10 innings. Coach Castillo, Coach Castillo said after the game that the Bruins struggle having that winning mentality, and that might be the problem of closing out these close games, but they have two more chances here today to get some revenge on the Payne College Lions. Well, the... While the result was not all unicorns and rainbows yesterday, there were some highlights of the day. Ramsey had three RBIs. Lance also had three RBIs. Brant had two of his own, and Austin and Kirkpatrick had one. The Bruins did fall early 4-0, but battled their way back, tying it. Took the lead a couple of times. A three-run seventh was a big inning for the Bruins offense. But the Lions just had to answer every single time, especially with the two-run home run that tied it at nine by Batista, the first baseman for the Lions. That was in the top of the ninth inning. Bruins are still seeking their first win here at Conesley Park on the season. 0-7 so far. But as I said, they have two chances to do it here today. Let's meet the starters for the Lions. The lineups, if you remember from yesterday, are the exact same. So I'll just go down through the order. Denny Daz is playing shortstop. Kenan Wilcox, DH. Dominique Page, right field. Joel Malone, catcher. Christian Batista. I was informed that there is a typo on their roster sheet. It is Batista, not Bastista. He's playing first base. Camilo Martinez playing third. Here's the first pitch from Legnard. In the dirt. Kirkpatrick can't gather at 1-0 count. Alexander, who had a big day yesterday for the Lions, playing center field. Rivera, left field. Vladimir Lemo, second base. And then the pitcher for the Lions. Here's the 1-0 from Legnard. There's his first strike of the day. 1-1 count. The pitcher for the Lions is Christian Tiba Bijo. I am waiting to get proper pronunciation of that name. That one is hit out of play. Foul ball, 1-2 count. Because when I said it over the loudspeaker as a starting lineups, the Lions dugout did not like it. So, when I get that proper pronunciation, I will adjust his name. Here's the one-two from Legnard. Almost gets him early. High fastball up in the zone. And Daza fights that away. One-two count still. Bruins lineup is also the exact same from yesterday. Here's the one-two again. That's a chopper to Chad Bain. He gathers it, throws it, and gets the first out of the day. One up, one down. Denny Daza will head back to his dugout. Bruins lineup, Riley Ramsey, center field, Evan Walker, right field, Conley Burke, third base. Legnard delivers. That's in there for ball one. Cam Lance, first base, Pablo Austin, DH, Cody Kirkpatrick, catcher, Sam Gonzalez, second base. Here's the 1-0 from Legnard. Low again, 2-0 count. Chad Bain, shortstop, Zay Brent, left field. And, of course, Joshua Legnard pitching for the Bruins. Caden Wilcox, the DH, takes a four-pitch walk early in this game. We'll head down to first base. Legnard is considered the ace of this Bruins team. He has three wins on the season with the lowest ERA of 4-3-8. 39 innings pitched. Has struck out 42 batters with only 15 walks. That's some efficiency right there. He checks back Wilcox, and he gets him there safely. But a 42-15 to 15 strikeout walk ratio is what you want. The lefty has been on fire so far this season. It's a 1-0 count to Dominique Page. With Legnar being a lefty, that might take away some steal threats later on in this lineup. Ravion Alexander, although he didn't have a listed steal, definitely had an attempt twice yesterday. 
There's a strike. That's what we want to see. 2-1 count. But each time Alexander attempted a steal, it was hit or bunted, and he got a head start. Here's a 2-1 from Legnard. In the dirt for ball three. Get some encouragement from Connolly Burke at third base. Here's a 3-1. Hit out of play, forcing a full count. Full count to Page, one down here in the top of the first inning. And he gets him swinging. Strikeout number 43 on the season. Strikeout number one today. Two down here in the top of the first. He did not let that walk bother him. And he's found that zone again. Joel Malone now up for the Lions. Wilcox off first still. Legnarn delivers. Outside for a ball. It will be very hard for these Lion runners to get a head start because Legnard stares at him until he throws. That's hit in the air to left field. Zay Brandt trying to work back on it. He's tracking it, and he catches it for out number three. Lions go scoreless here in the top of the first. Bruins look to take an early lead in the bottom of the first. Back here in the bottom of the first inning. I don't know if you heard that song, but it is a beautiful day for a ball game here. Sunny, no wind yet. Not trying to jinx that because it is my worst enemy up here at the table. But, you know, it's so nice out right now. I'm feeling a couple of Bruins runs coming here in the first inning. Starting off with Riley Ramsey. He is still on his tear. He's still batting over 400. Had three RBIs yesterday, including a massive home run to make the score 9-7. He is just on fire, and it is not getting put out. Still haven't gotten that pronunciation, so I will be saying Tiba Bijo throughout this first inning. His first pitch to Ramsey is a ball above the zone, 1-0 count. Here's the 1-0 to Ramsey. Swings at that, smacks that, but foul ball on the first base side. 
Ramsey leads the Bruins in basically every single offensive category, batting average, home runs, triples, doubles, hits, and runs scored. Foul ball on the other side. Just has to find the middle somewhere. There's really not a lot of space on the sides. So no doubt he's not going to have that hard of a time to hit it in the field somewhere. He does have the battle now, though. 1-2 count against Tiba Bijo. Here's the 1-2. Off-speed pitch gets Riley Ramsey looking. That's rare. And the Lions get the first out of the inning on a backwards K. Evan Walker now stepping to the plate. Also had a big night yesterday. Started off the game three for three with three singles. First pitch to him is up in the zone also for a ball. If today's anything like yesterday, the pitching staff for the Lions will be slim. Here's the 1-0. And they might actually throw Tiba Bijo the whole way. Seven inning game with the doubleheader. So we're not going nine innings unless it goes in the extras again. That one's rocked. And a diving play for an out by Denny Daza. What a play. Two down now here in the bottom of the first. That was some solid contact from Walker. He's smiling that one off. He knows that Daza took a base hit away from him on a very nice defensive play. Burke right back at the pitcher. Great reflexes. Three up, three down. The Lions very quickly get off the field. And we're headed to the top of the second. Top of the second inning, Legnard looks to keep up his rhythm. That's in there for strike one. Great pitch to start the inning. Christian Bautista now up. That one's down, 1-1 one, one count. Good block by Kirkpatrick, 2-1 count now. So it turns out I was right on the pronunciation of the Lions pitcher. It is Tiba Bijo. Feel kind of smart with that. Don't know what the fuss was when I said it, but maybe they, they were just impressed. I don't know. That is fouled off, 2-2 two, two count. I'm getting laughed at. It's not, not nice. But that's okay. 2-2 two, two count now. Legnar looking to get his second strike out of the day. Another great block by Kirkpatrick. He might need those later in crunch time. He has a tough job back there, let me tell you. He gets put in some hard situations, gets some hard pitches to block. But he definitely does his best. Here's the full count. Get some swinging. Josh Legnar with another strikeout. Starting this top of the second inning, one down.
Camilo Martinez now batting for the Lions. Martinez has struggled from the plate this year. 189 batting average. Looks at that one for strike one. Do not let Josh Lignar get hot. He will make you regret it. There's strike two. 0-2 oh, count already. Martinez has some work to do. The 0-2. Oh, Off-speed pitch got away from him. Another block from Kirkpatrick. I understand there's no one on, on base, but he's getting the job done back there. Love to see it. 1-2 count. He's still ahead. That's swung on and swung through for strike three again. Two straight strikeouts from Josh Legnar. Three on the day. Two down here in the top of the second inning. Here's the spark. The late batting lineup spark for the Lions. Ravion Alexander. First strike to him. 0-1 count. He just knows how to get on base. His on-base percentage is very high, and it was yesterday. Scored multiple runs for the Lions. Hits that right back up the middle. Lions' first hit of the day is a single from Alexander. Still two down here in the top of the second inning. No damage is done. Pablo Rivera now up. The left fielder for the Lions. It's such a nice day out. We got the concession stand here today. Selling some food, giving out lollipops to foul balls. So, again, it's today the day. I always ask it. I need to know. I want to catch a foul ball and get a lollipop. Today's a good day for it. It's sunny. Having a sweet lollipop to uh, eat. Well, I won't eat it in your ear. I'll save it for after game. Here's the 1-0 from Legnard. That one's high inside. And it does brush the shoulder of Rivera. So there are now two base runners with two outs. Alexander is now in scoring position for the nine hitter, Vladimir Lemos, who's playing second base today. Lemos was one for two yesterday with two walks. So he got on base 75% of the time. Quick fraction work, three out of four. The math is back, folks. The math is back. Here's the first pitch to Lemos. That's an off-speed pitch. Doesn't hook down in time. High in the zone, 1-0 count. After the secondary lead, Alexander's really far off. Chad Baines is going to try to keep him close. That's swung at for strike one. Here's the 1-1 one -one from Legnard. Foul tipped. Oh, first base coach for the Lions can't get over there. Might have to give him an error on the day. It's okay, his prime is over, as most of ours is. The one two count from Legnard, looking to get out of this inning. Stranding two, he delivers. Popped up in the left field, Zay Brant's hat falls off, but the sunglasses do the trick. That son is not in his way at all. He catches it for out number three. Lions still scoreless, headed to the bottom of the second. Bruins still looking to get their first run.
Back here in the bottom of the second inning, Bruins went three up, three down, last at bat. It's very hard to do to get the first three runners out in a row. But Tebow Bijo did, and that is indeed his name. Cam Lance looks to get it started for the Bruins offense today. He had three RBIs yesterday. Very quality day from the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. That's in there for strike one. Here's the 0-1 to Lance. Tip back into the glove, 0-2 count. Get some big encouragement from Coach Castillo at third base. He's facing an 0-2. He has to battle now. Here's the pitch from Tiba Bijo. In the dirt, outside, ball one. Here's the one-two. He hits that to left field. But Rivera barely has to move. He takes about two steps to his left and catches it for out number one. Brings up Pablo Austin to DH today for the Bruins. Bruins still looking for their first base runner. That is high out of the zone for ball one. That's in there for strike one, one one count. Here's the one one from Timo Bijo. Ball outside, the frame job does not do the trick. Malone was trying that yesterday and they're just all too drastic. If you made it a little more casual on the on the wrist flick, that might work, but it's not going to work. Austin hits that back into the net, 2-2 count. You kind of have to move your wrist as you're catching and not catch it and then just move your whole entire arm. Umpires have seen enough of that in high school ball. This is college baseball. Let's go. 2-2 count now from Tiwiho. Ball on the outside. Full count. Three, two count, one down here in the bottom of the second. Austin looking to be the first base runner for the Bruins. Here it is. And he is, he forces a walk and he'll take his free base. Kirkpatrick now up. Had an RBI of his own yesterday. Before the game, he was practicing all his throws to first and third base. Last night he had a rough day Getting that throw. It's a little cold outside last night. It's hard to grip the ball. Totally understandable. Again, put in a really hard spot to do the things he does. But he was putting in the work this morning and this afternoon before the game started to get those throws under control. Here's the 1-0. That's in there for strike one. 1-1 one, one count. Kirkpatrick almost batting 300 on the season with a 292 batting average. Here's the 1-1. That one's on the outside corner, 1-2 count. Tiba Vijo ahead in the count. Looking to get for the second out of the inning. Kirkpatrick hits that to left field. Will it get over the wall? It will. Cody Kirkpatrick, two-run home run, gets the Bruins on the board, 2-0. That was a scrumptious-looking swing. What a great way to start the afternoon. 2-0 here in the bottom of the second. I don't know if you guys heard it before Kirkpatrick's at bat, but there was a fan here that said to the wall and beyond. That was before the at bat, and look what just happened. 
I think she should just say that before every single at bat because it worked out in our favor. 2-0 now on the game for the Bruins. She wants that ball because she, again, she called that. She wants that ball. She deserves that ball. Might have to ask Kirkpatrick for it, but what a nice lady in the windbreaker jacket out here at Conesley Park. Three zero count. Gonzalez will probably take this pitch coming up. Another base runner for the Bruins. Throw from Malone back to the pitcher, gets away. Quick pause in the game to, you know, rest our eyes, think our thoughts. But we're back to this baseball game. 3-0 count to Gonzalez. He does take that pitch. 3-1 count. Are those flames on his bat, or is it just the way it looks from up here? Can't really tell. Here's the 3-1. While his bat might be on fire, he takes the walk. Free base again. Still only one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Chad Bain now up. Gonzalez does have some speed here on the bases for the Bruins. And he does have a sizable lead at first. He might be trying to get the second. First pitch to Bain. Outside and high. 1-0 count. One out count to Bain. Gonzalez off of first base. He's going. Little hit and run attempt. But it's foul tipped. It's a 1-1 one, one count. Let's see if the Bruins try it again. Might see a check back to first base from Tiba Bijo. He looks. But he delivers and Gonzalez is off again. Another hit and run attempt. Another foul tip. It may have been best if Bain just let that one alone. I think Gonzalez would have gotten there on time. Now Bain faces a 1-2 count. One down still here in the bottom of the second inning. Gonzalez still off first base. Does not run that time. He's probably out of breath. He technically has run 360 feet in the last three pitches. Some more quick math there. Here's the 2-2 count from to Bain. That's hit straight up in the air on the right side. And Batista comes and gets it despite the weird noises coming from the Bruins' dugout. Not entirely sure what that was. Maybe it was like a, a sick dog, sick lion. Sick lion, that would make sense. We're playing the Lions. Two down here in the bottom of the second inning. Zay Brant now up for the Bruins. Zay Brant looking... To get some more Bruins offense going. The majority of the Bruins runs. Oh, there's Gonzalez. He's speeding to second base. Wow, what a throw from Malone. That was nearly perfect. Gets Gonzalez at second despite the good jump. And that ends the inning. Wow, Malone has some arm going to second base. Proved that yesterday. Proved it again here today. The Bruins do score two runs on the Kirkpatrick. Two RBI home run. They look to hold the Lions scoreless still headed to the top of the third. If I could have your attention, please, any foul balls taken to the concession stand results in a free lollipop.
Take your foul balls to the concession stand for a free lollipop. Top of the third inning starting now. Legnard wasting no time. But that first pitch is a ball outside 1 0 count. We're back to the top of the lineup. Denny Daza. Here's the 1 1 to Daza. That one is hit out of play right near the concession stand. That ball doesn't have to get returned. That could just be a free lollipop for whoever wants it. The one-two count now to Daza. I looked, did a little research. Daza's name in English actually means popular. It's pretty cool. Growing up, last name being popular. Probably was just natural at that point. One-two count still after the foul tip. Another foul tip back into the net. Daza continues to battle. The one, two again. And another foul tip. Four straight foul tips. Daza's making Legnard work. Legnard's still doing his job, throwing strikes. Might actually try to make him chase here for something out of the zone. Here's the one, two again. Breaking ball, dribbler right back to Legnard. Can he gather it and throw it? What a dot. What a throw across the diamond from Josh Legnard. First out of the inning. 0-2, oh, 0 oh for two now for Daza, two ground outs. That might hurt his popularity status. But then again, his last name is popular, so it's pretty cool. Brings up Cannon Wilcox. He was walked his last at bat in four pitches. That will not happen again. Strike one, 0-1 one, oh, oh, one count. That's in there for strike two, 0-2 oh, two count very early. Off-speed pitch in the dirt. Does not get Wilcox to chase at his feet. One or one two count. Wilcox had six at bats last night, but resulting in only one hit. But it was a late double that was very important. Here's the one two. Strike three. Another strikeout for Legnard. Two down now here in the top of the third inning. Four strikeouts on the day already. And we're just two and two thirds inning into this. Here's the first pitch to Page, and that's another strike. Another strike. Another 0 2. One strike away from getting out of this inning nearly by himself since he grounded that ground ball and threw it the first. Here's the 0 2. And he gets him. Three up, three down. He is the Bruins ace for a reason, showing his stuff today. We're headed to the bottom of the third inning where the Bruins can get more runs on the board.
the bottom of the third inning now starting. Zay Brandt looks to start things for the Bruins. I love when Zay Brandt leads off because that just means that when he gets on base, there's a very, very good chance he's going to score. That's a ball outside to start Tiba Bijo's inning. Tiba Bijo is doing great in that first inning, forcing him to go three up, three down. Even got Cam Lance out to start the second. It's a big cut from Brandt. 1-1 one, one count. But then he walked Pablo Austin, and then Cody Kirkpatrick absolutely hit one. Not quite to the moon, but it did go over the fence for a two-run home run. Brandt looked at that one outside. 2-1 count. Here's the 2-1 to Brandt. That one's in the strike zone. 2-2 count. Brandt confirms where in the strike zone that was with the umpire. Batista hopping around at first base. Getting a little antsy. Brandt reaches for that one. Popped up into the infield. Martinez under it and catches it for out number one. The sun is out and beaming. Most of the players in the field have sunglasses and their hat and also probably their glove to block the sun on these fly balls. One down for Riley Ramsey. He struck out looking in his first at bat. Again, that's very rare that Riley Ramsey strikes out nonetheless looking. Here's the 1-0. That one's down. 2-0 count. Now Ramsey facing a batter's count. Tiba Bijo delivers. Breaking ball. That's ripped over the third baseman's head. That will get to the wall. And Riley Ramsey will have an extra base hit. Rivera gets it in as quick as he can. But not before Ramsey takes second standing up. Evan Walker now with a teammate in scoring position with one down here in the bottom of the third. I did indeed jinx the wind and it's starting. I'm sorry about that. Evan Walker at solid contact lined out in his first at bat. Gets solid contact again, but it's foul ball. A lot like yesterday, Batista playing very far in on that first base corner. Walker facing an 0-1 count. Runner in scoring position. A base hit will probably score Ramsey. Here's the 0-1. Keeps that one up in the air, 1-1 one, one count. Ramsey off of second, here's the 1-1. One, one. Another ball outside and in the dirt, 2-1 count. Evan Walker sitting fastball here, looking for a strike. Adjust with the breaking ball. Ramsey to third base. Does not get under the tag. Walker is safe at first, but good play from the shortstop Daza to get Ramsey out at third. Scoring threat is erased for the Bruins. Walker now on first base for Conley Burke. Two down here in the bottom of the third. Nothing wrong with aggressive base running by Ramsey. Just unlucky in the placement of that grounder. Had Daza already going toward third base, so didn't have to adjust his momentum at all. Made a quick little pitch for out number two. That's a ball two now, 2-0 two count to Burke.
Another ball outside, 3-0. Yesterday, Burke was the only one to swing on a 3-0 count, and it did result in a base hit. Let's see if he gets the green light again. He does take that 3-1 count. Burke grounded out in his first at-bat, right back to the pitcher. 3-1 to Burke. Another ball outside. Walker will take second. Burke will take first. Cam Lance now up. Looking for his first hit of the day. He was two for two yesterday with runners in scoring position. And now Walker's leading off second base. Leno's trying to keep him close. It's ball outside again. Cam Lance looking for a good pitch. If he forces something the other way and the gap between right and center field, that could take a really long time to get in. That's a massive gap. It's a ball up in the air, 2-0 count. Alexander Rivera definitely playing pole hitter right now. Even though Rivera's not that far to the line, he's playing deep so he can come in on something. Here's the 2-0 to Lance. That gets the outside corner for strike one, two, one count. The two, one to Lance. Ball way outside. That would have been outside if home plate was in the other batter's box. Three, one count, hitters count for Cam Lance. With a runner in scoring position, he might be looking to swing. Find some green. He does swing, but that's tipped back in the net. Full count now. Got the bat on the ball. Just needed to go forward. Full count. Two down here in the bottom of the third. Score is still 2-0, but Bruins do have some runners on board. Team of Iho delivers. Runners go. That's tipped, and it will go foul out of play. And the runners will go back. The runners will get a head start again. And we're looking at another full count here. What will Lance do with it? Great move by Tima Bijo, knowing the head start of Walker. And they'll get the tag down on Walker. Wow, that was genius. They knew the runners were going to have a head start. And Tima Bijo, all he had to do was lift his leg and step off. And out number three, another inning ending on a runner getting out on base. That's now two straight. Again, it's not often you see that. We saw it last night, too. And now two of the three at-bats for the Bruins end that way. We're headed to the top of the fourth inning. Score still 2-0. Back here in the top of the fourth inning, Legnard looks to keep his rhythm going. 
Foul tipped right near the concession stand. Again, almost caught by Zach Burke at the concession stand, but that does not get in his hand. Man, that's now three foul balls straight at the concession stand, but none at me. I think it's a little unfair. Not trying to build myself up, but I think I could have caught that. Here's the 0-2 from Legnard. Another foul ball on the third base side. <laughs> like how hard could it be? Just let the ball hit the hand and squeeze, right? I don't know. 0-2 oh, count from Legnard. Another strikeout. He's on fire. One down here in the top of the fourth inning. Six strikeouts on the day from Legnard. Wow. Six of the ten outs being strikeouts. That's three out of five. Three out of five batters get struck out. That took me way too long to do that fraction. My bad. Oh, one count from Legnard. A breaking ball for strike two. Looking for strikeout number seven coming up. The 0 2 from Legnard to Batista. And he gets it again. Get some looking on the breaking ball. What a pitch. Two batters, two strikeouts here in the top of the fourth inning. Batista does not like that. He will make his way back to the dugout very slowly. He's still not in there. There we go. He's in the dugout. Another strike. Camilo Martinez up, looking to change that narrative. He struck out his last at bat. Here's the 0-1. Didn't get back into the zone in time. 1-1 one, one count. That one's in the dirt. Hung on to that one a little too long. 2-1 two, count. Legnard says, my bad to Kirkpatrick, and we move on. The 2 1 from Legnard. Ball on the inside corner. 3 1 count. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the ball. Legnard gets a new ball. I think it's valid. He was dealing, and then as soon as the ball hit the dirt, threw a couple balls. But that's okay. 3 1 count. Still has a chance to get Martinez out to end the inning very quickly. The 3-1 from Legnard. The slap foul. Another foul ball near the concession stand. Legnard comes back, forces full count. Two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Can he strike out the side? He delivers to Martinez. That one was barely tipped. Full count still. Martinez battling. Ooh, Coach Morrison comes and gets that ball. He better put his hat on. He might get his head sunburnt a little bit today. Full count again from Legnard. That one's grounded. Chad Bain gathers. Throws it to Lance. Easy. One, two, three. For Josh Legnard here in the top of the fourth inning. Score still 2-0. Bruins looking to add to that in the bottom of the fourth.
Back here in the bottom of the fourth inning, we just enjoyed being serenaded by How to Train Your Dragon, discussing what the modern day version of a dragon is. That's a foul ball over the net, but it will not get to me. That was even close. It looked like it off the bat. 0-1 count. Lance has some new life. Evan Walker got picked off of second. I'm getting made fun of from yesterday when I thought for sure a foul ball was coming up here and it didn't even get out of the field. That's okay. I can be optimistic. Here's the 0-1 from Tiba Bijo. That's a ball outside, 1-1. It's okay. The person making fun of me has never seen Sandlot, so <laughs> not too not too hurt by that. One one count, two one count. Now ball outside. I mean, come on. Who hasn't seen Sandlot? We're, we're at a baseball game. To go to a baseball game, you have to watch that movie first. I think, in my opinion. Here's the two one. Lance hits that back into the net. Two two count. Two two count, none down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Ball outside, full count. Bruins looking for base hit, ball four from Lance. Tiba Bijo delivers. I lost that one off the bat. Good thing that one wasn't at me because I would have been hit by a head, hit on the head. Still a 3-2. Cam Lance continues to battle. That's a ball outside. Lance with a leadoff walk. Will take first base with Pablo Austin coming up. Austin was also walked in his first at bat. So still without a real at bat in the scorebook. Lance leads off first. Pablo Austin, that's a diving effort from Daza. Gets the out at second. And Pablo Austin beats out the throw with the stretch from Batista. What a play. What a play from the Lions defense. That was almost a spectacular double play. Daza had to get on the ground for it. Flips it to Lemos. He gets the first out at second base. And then they almost get it to first base in time. Batista almost did the splits. All that resulting in one out. Austin now on. Kirk Patrick, who had a monster home run, his last at bats now up. High in the zone. High out of the zone. Ball one. 1 0 count to Kirk Patrick. Two-zero count now. We need that lady to say to the wall or beyond again. See if it works. She's not wearing the windbreaker anymore. That might have been the good luck charm. It has gotten a lot nicer out. Here's the two-zero. He had sat in the air. That will knock it to the wall. Alexander in on that. Catches it for out number two. And Austin will go back to first base. Sam Gonzalez was walked in his first at bat. Pablo Austin still leading off first base. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. That one's ripped to left field. But Rivera is right there. Takes one step back and catches it for out number three. Score is still 2-0. Three innings to go here in the first game of the doubleheader.
Back here in the top of the fifth inning, Josh Legnard has been on fire all day today. Went three up, three down last inning, looking to do the same here. Alexander, the only one that's gotten hit off of him, up now for the Lions. That one's in the dirt. 1-1 one, one count. I'm surprised Alexander isn't higher in the batting order, if I'm being honest. I would probably put him at the leadoff spot. Biggest steal threat. Would make sense. 1-1 one, one count. Ball on the inside. He, Alexander's most steals. He gets on base. I don't know. Which makes sense to me. Another foul ball. 2-2 two, two count now. Alexander calls timeout. Takes a little practice swing. Here's the 2-2 two, two from Legnard. Pitch looked good, but probably didn't get down in time. Full count. We've seen a lot of full counts today on both sides. Can Legnard finish this one off? He delivers. Check swing. Foul tip. Full count still. Full count again. Here it is. Strike three on the fastball. Another strikeout on the day for Josh Legnard and Alexander, despite my working him up to be a good base runner, goes back to the dugout. Eight strikeouts on the day for Legnard now. Rivera now up. Lefty, lefty situation. He did hit Levera on the shoulder in his last at bat. 1 0 count from Legnard. Swings on that inside pitch for strike one, 1 1. Legnard delivers to Rivera. A great pitch, 1 2 count. Legnard now one strike away from his ninth strikeout of the day, only in the fifth inning. Can he get it here? He does. He gets Rivera swinging. Strikeout number nine. Big day for Legnard continues. Vladimir Lemos now up. Trying to break the streak. Not off to a great start. Legnard throws another strike. 0-1 oh, count to Lemos. Little too low. Legnard knows it. 1-1 one, one count. It just got weirdly quiet here at the stadium. 1-1 one, one count. Outside for ball two, two one count. Here's a two one. Another ball outside, three one. Legnard with the three one count. Throws the fastball, but it's in the dirt. And he walks Lemos, and Lemos will take his base with two down. Brings up Denny Popular Daza. He's 0 for 2 so far today. He's got some awesome color coordination going on today. Got some yellow batting gloves, yellow shin guard, a yellow elbow pad. Yellow is an awesome, awesome color. I am wearing yellow shoes today, so me and you both must be a popular thing to do. 0-1 oh, count. 
I'm going to play with his last name all day long. You better believe it. 0-1 count from Legnard. It's fouled, or excuse me, is hit to Burke. Burke, easy throw to Lance. And the Bruins get out of another inning. The Lions remain scoreless. Score is still 2-0, headed to the bottom of the fifth. Back here in the bottom of the fifth inning, Chad Bain leading off for the Bruins. Still 2-0. That one is probably the closest that it's got, but we're still in like the sixth row. About, about 30 feet more distance that may have gotten up here, but still no. 0-1 count to Bain. Ball outside, 1-1 count. Very similar circumstance for the Bruins as past couple games with a late lead. Their defense just has to cap this one off. Here's the 1-1 one -one to Bain. That's a chopper. Burt. Gets it for out number one. Martinez had to get up in the air for that one. And Baines 0 for 2 on the day. Zay Brant now up, one down. Here in the bottom of the fifth inning. <laughs> that one has hit foul, 0-1 count. Oh, right on a bleacher. Definitely a dent there now. Might make it more comfortable, to be honest. 0-1 count to Brant. Tiba Bijo still on the mound. He delivers. Foul tip back. Early 0-2 count. Say Brant 0 for 1 so far today with a fly out in his first at bat. Everyone on the Lions defense thought that was a strike. That was called a ball outside. Malone was ready to throw that around the horn. But cannot. The one two from Tiba Bijo. Another ball outside. Two two count. Some insurance runs would not be bad for the Bruins. One down. Brant tips that into the glove of Malone for strike three. Two down here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Riley Ramsey now up. He doubled in his last at bat before getting out at third base. Two out rally could be started here. Ramsey hits that foul ball. 
Fifth one right at the concession stand. Still none of them have been caught. There's even guys with hats over there. You can catch them in the hat. That's the ball for a 1-1 count. I have a hat on too, but I can't take it off because of the headset. That's not an excuse. That's a... That, that's just real truth right there. That's outside for ball two. Another one that Malone doesn't like. The other people at the table have no faith in me to catch this. 2-1 two, two count. That one's ripped right out right up the middle by Ramsey and he'll have a two out single. Evan Walker reached his last at bat but his was the grounder to Daza that got Ramsey out at third. So he is 0 for 1 today with a fielder's choice. Another strike or another pitch outside for ball one. Riley Ramsey leads off first base. Another hit up the middle. Two straight hits up the middle. Two straight singles for the Bruins. Conley Burke. Now with Ramsey in scoring position and Walker at first base. Base hit away from another run. Burke was walked in his last at bat. First pitch from Diva Bijo. Outside and in the dirt. Way to catch that by Malone. Keeps the runners from advancing. They stay at first and second. Here's the 1-0 to Burke. Another ball outside, 2-0 count. Coach Castillo with the encouragement on third base. Here's the 2-0. Burke swings at that, and that gets through the infield. Ramsey will be waved home. The throw will be cut off, and Ramsey will score. RBI single for Conley Burke makes it 3-0. Some two out scoring here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Three straight singles for the Bruins. Cam Lance now up. Bruins are swinging the bat today. Cam Lance was walked in his last at bat. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out in his first at bat. Walker now leading off of second. Lance checks swings. He does indeed go. 0 1 count. Here's the 0 1 from Tiba Bijo. Ball's outside, 1 1. Got to try to drive this somewhere, find some green in the outfield. Here's the 1-1. One, one. He hits that one up the middle. Walker will be waved home. And he will get in safe. The game is 4-0. Four, four straight singles with two outs for the Bruins. Get two more runs on the board. The windbreaker's off, but that lady right there is calling her shot again. Pablo Austin might be getting ready to hit a home run. Coach does have to meet with Tiba Bijo on the mound. Needs to calm him down a little bit to try to get this last out of the inning to get out of here.
Infielders make their way back to their spots. And we're back to playing. Pablo Austin looking to keep this inning alive for the Bruins offense. Conley Burke off second base. Cam Lance off first. Pablo Austin checks swings but keeps that one back. 1-0 count. The 1-0. Austin keeps that one up in the air. 2-0. Here's the 2-0 pitch to Austin. That one's hit high in the air to left field, but it's shallow. It'll get down. Conley Burke will come in to score. Five straight singles now for the Bruins. Three runs off those singles, and it's 5-0 here in the fifth inning. Wow. All you need to do is get a base hit, and look what happens. This is some baseball. Kirkpatrick now up. Looking for single number six. That finds the outside corner. Strike one, 1-0 one -oh count. Cam Lance leads off second. Pablo Austin off first. Two down still here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's the 0-1 to Kirkpatrick. Way out of the zone for ball one. Tiba Bijo shaking off some pitches. Finds the one he likes. Delivers the 1-1. Outside. Malone threatens to throw to first base, but does not. 2-1 count. Two one count to Kirkpatrick, two down here in the fifth. Another ball in the dirt, good catch by Malone. Had to move a lot for that one, three one count. Kirkpatrick will be looking to swing. This could be big. Here's a 3-1. He does swing. Daza takes his time and will take it himself to second to get the Lions out of the inning. But that is not before. Five straight singles from the Bruins resulting in three runs with two outs. Forcing the game to be 5-0. We have two innings to go. Can the Bruins close it out and get a win? Similar situation that we have from the past couple of games. Bruins have a lead. Two innings to go. We're looking good here, though. Josh Legnard is on fire on the mound. He just has to continue that one. Here's the first pitch of the inning from him. Fouled off. 
number six, right by the concession stand. Last night, there were eight errors from the Bruins' defense, resulting directly to four runs scored by the Lions. That one is fouled near the third baseline, but does not get fair. But that does, those runs do not include the ones that ended up being runs on the runners that got on due to the errors. So out of the 12 runs the Lions got yesterday, there were probably about six of those coming from the errors from the Bruins' defense. I don't think there's been any errors for the Bruins' defense so far today. Just have to keep that up. That is largely in part to nine strikeouts from Josh Legnard. Looking for double-digit strikeouts here already with an 0-2 count against Caden Wilcox. Here's the 0-2. That one's hitting the air to center field. Ramsey will come in on that and catch it for out number one. For a quick second there, it looked like Ramsey might have to dive. But he stays on his feet the whole way. One down here in the top of the sixth inning. Dominique Page now up. 0 for 2 so far in the day with two strikeouts. Two of the nine from Legnard. The ball inside. 1-0 count. That one's hitting the air to center field again. Ramsey has to run back on that. And that's off the wall. Ramsey will throw it in as quick as he can. And Page will have a one-out double. Very important. The Bruins do not let this one get to him. Malone now up. One down here in the top of the sixth. It's only the second hit for the Lions all game. Joel Malone 0 for 2 with a flyout and obviously a strikeout. Page leads off second base. Gonzalez keeps him close. That's a sizable lead. Legnard throws. That one was fouled out of play. 0-1. Here's the 0 1 count from Legnard. Looking at Page for a long time. He does check him back, and he's toast! No! Gonzalez drops it, pleading his case. It was on. After the, after the tag. Wow! Page was long gone, and Gonzalez could not squeeze it. I would try again if I was Legnard. But he delivers. That's foul tipped off of his own foot. Malone goes down. That looked painful. Pun intended. If you forgot, we're playing Payne College. Get it? All right, well, I'm getting made fun of here at the table. I thought it was good. 0-2 count to Malone. Page off of second base. Checks him back again. And Gonzalez still can't catch it. Understandable. It's a very hard tag to get down on the move like that. 0-2 to Malone. That one gets away from Kirkpatrick, gets to the net, and Page will take third base for free. Nothing hurt. Page is on third base. There is one out, but Legnard is ahead. On this count, still a 1-2 to Malone. One more strike. He gets out number two. That one is ripped to left field. That's fair ball. Page will score. Malone to at least two. 
and Brant will throw it in. Malone with a stand-up RBI double makes this game 5-1. We all know the swing abilities of Christian Bautista. We're one swing away from a 5-3 ball game. Legnard looks to limit him on this lefty-lefty matchup. Malone now leading off second base. One down. Legnard needs a reset. Legnard delivers. Ball inside. Bautista had to dodge that. 1 0 count. Bautista 0 for 2 with two strikeouts, looking for his first hit. Another ball inside. Kirkpatrick needs to go and talk to his pitcher. Coach Rulapal will come out and join them. Situations like this is where all the hard feelings start to be felt. Didn't know how else to say that, honestly. It's getting a little tense here, even though the Bruins do have a four-run lead. Again, one swing of the bat could be a two-run lead. Bautista has some power. Hit a home run off of the scoreboard last night. Glad it's still working. Conference is going on a little longer than I thought it would. And they break it up. The game roll resumes in just a couple seconds. Wow, big practice swing and stretches from Bautista. He might be looking for a pitch to absolutely rock. The 2-0 from Legnard. We're getting back underway. Off-speed pitch for strike one. Get some encouragement from the crowd. 2-1 count. That one got in for strike one. Batista doesn't like it. 2-2 count now. One out here in the top of the sixth inning. Legnard looking for strikeout number 10. Bautista calls timeout, interrupts his rhythm. Interrupts my rhythm. How rude. 2-2 two, two count. Strike three. That timeout might have interrupted his own rhythm. And he goes back to the dugout after striking out for the third time today. Two down now here in the top of the sixth inning. Martinez is now up 0 for 2 to strike out and ground out. Strike one. Malone still leading off second base. Four out Bruins are four outs away from getting a win. Here's the 0 1 from Legnard. In the dirt, great block by Kirkpatrick. Keeps Malone from advancing the third. The 1-1 one, one from Legnard. Up in the air for a ball. 2-1 count. Two one to Martinez. Malone still off leading off second. That does not get down in time. Three one count. Legnard will have to battle back. Here's the three one. That's up in the air for ball four. 
And Martinez will take his base. First time he's been on base all day. That walk doesn't hurt anything. Just makes a force out everywhere. Ravion Alexander now up. For the Lions, he's one for two today with a single and a strikeout. Still two down here in the top of the sixth inning. Five to one ball game. First pitch to Alexander is in there for a strike on the fastball. That was a fast fastball. The 0 1 from Legnard. Another fastball. Makes it 0 2 on the foul tip. Some of the Bruins players do have a gun down there. I'm, I'm curious to see what Legnar gets up to. I'm thinking like 82, 83 from up here. Here's the 0-2. Looking to get out of the inning. Fouled or grounded right at Bain. Gonzalez squeezes that for out number three. And the Bruins limit the damage to one run. Bruins still have the 5-1 lead going to the bottom of the sixth. Back here in the bottom of the sixth inning, what will hopefully be the Bruins' last at bat for this game as they are three outs away from getting a win. There are some defensive changes for the Lions. Denny Daza comes from shortstop to pitch. Caden Wilcox, who started DH, is now playing second base. And Vladimir Lemos will take over at shortstop. First pitch from Daza is a ball. 
Benny Daza has pitched nine innings this season with a five ERA. Ball inside, almost brushed Gonzalez. And it's a 2 0 count. That's in there for Daza's first strike. Haven't seen anything but fastballs so far. 2 0 count. Gonzalez looking for his first hit of the day. Another fastball, Gonzalez swings. Diving effort from Martinez. Gets away from him a little bit and Gonzalez with a leadoff base hit. Four pitches from Daza so far, four fastballs. Chad Bain now up, gets the sign from Coach. Might see another hit and run attempt or it just might be a steal since the hit and run didn't work out last time. Gonzalez leading off first base. That one's low for ball one, 1-0 one -oh count. Another sign from Castile. 1-0 -oh count to Chad Bain, who was also looking for his first hit of the day. Gonzalez takes off. Bain swings and fouls it off. Third hit and run attempt third foul ball between this pair. If it ever succeeds, it could work out huge in the Bruins' favor. We haven't gotten there yet, though. 1-1 one, one count now. Gonzalez with a big lead at first. Bain reaches for that. Strike two. Bain has to battle back. The one two from Daza. In the dirt, great block by Malone. Had a lot of time to think about that one as it hit the dirt. Pretty far in front of home plate. Saw that a couple times yesterday. Two two count. Daza delivers. Another one in the dirt, and Gonzalez takes second base. That one got between the legs of Malone, but then hit off the foot of the umpire. So it stayed close, but not close enough to get Gonzalez at second. Bain forces a full count, being patient at the plate. Still no outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Gonzalez in scoring position. Here's the full count. Foul tipped out of play. Full count still. Full count again. Gonzalez off second base. That's hit. Lemos fields that. And gets Bain out at first base. Gonzalez does get the third, though. One out now here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Gonzalez on third base looking to score. Needs Zay Brandt to get a base hit or a sack fly even would work here. Lions infield in on the grass. Trying to eliminate a run on a grounder. Something a little high in the air. Get, a, get above the infielders. It's a great pitch by Daza. One of the first off-speed pitches we've seen. 0-1 count to Brandt. Here's the 0-1. Big cut from Brandt. Foul tip. 0-2 count. Let's 
So they brand 0 for 2 so far today. Fly out and strike out. Here's the 0-2. Ball outside, 1-2 count. The one two from Daza. He delivers. Brent hits that one up the middle. That gets through the infield, and Gonzalez will score. Zay Brent with an RBI single makes it six to one here in the bottom of the sixth. Riley Ramsey now up. Ramsey's the one that started the flurry of singles that resulted in three runs with two outs in the last inning. All he has to do is just do the exact same thing he did last time and he could start another flurry. Big cut from Ramsey. I think he wanted more than a single on that one. Left fielder's playing very close to center. The line is wide open. Ramsey might look to turn on something. Zay Brandt leading off first base. 0-1 count. That's in there for strike two. I think Ramsey wants that one back. And strike three. Gets Riley Ramsey on three straight pitches. That's the first strikeout of the day for Denny Daza. Two down now here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Evan Walker now up. There she goes. She said, everybody home. You know what that means. Big cut from Walker. Between games, I will go down her and ask her name to let everyone at home know she's probably our number one fan today. Predicted Cody Kirkpatrick's home run to a T. Said to the wall and beyond and it was beyond the wall and Cody Kirkpatrick started us off. Zay Brandt takes off. Wow! Even though the throw was high from Malone, Wilcox went up and gathered it and got the tag down. That's the third out of the inning. Bruins three outs away from a win. We're headed to the top of the seventh. Three outs away from a much needed Bruins win. Pablo Rivera starting things off for the Lions. Legnard looking to pitch a complete game. That one's hit up into the air. Shallow right field. Gonzalez under it. Catches it for out number one. One down here in the top of the seventh.
Brings up Vladimir Lemos, who's now playing shortstop for the Lions after the pitching change. He was walking his last at bat. That's in there for strike one. Oh one count. Legnard looks to go in a hurry. That one's in the dirt. Good block by Kirkpatrick. One one count. Here's the one one. Inside two one count. Two one count from Legnard. Swung and missed. Gets past Kirkpatrick, but then it does not matter. Two two count now. Legnard looking for strikeout number eleven. Here's the 2-2 from Legnard, looking for out number two. In the dirt, another block by Kirkpatrick, full count. Here's the full count from Legnard. Hey, batter, batter, hey, batter, batter, swing. Legnard just got to do his thing. Strikeout number 11, one out away from a win. Top of the order, Denny Daza now up. Trying to keep the Lions alive. Not a lot of life left here in this game. Down five. Legnard one out away from a complete game. That's in there for strike one. Here's the 0-1 from Legnard. Foul tipped 0-2, one strike away. One strike away, 0-2 count from Legnard. Fastball high and outside, ball one, one, two. Legnard looking to close out this game with the one, two. Grounds it, Chad Bain gathers it, throws it to first. Good scoop by Cam Lance to finish off the much needed win. Josh Legnard goes the distance, complete game. One earned run, the final score, six to one. That is a big Bruins win. What a start to a beautiful day here at Conesty Park. Bruins win game one. Second game of the day will start in approximately 30 minutes. Go eat a snack pack pudding while you're at it and relax for a little bit before game two. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you there just in 30 minutes.